So here we start the video cutting a bit of the unidirectional fiber. It's pretty easy to cut this way um, since you're not really cutting across many of the fibers. And this is part of the fabric preparation before every layup, right? You got to cut out the fabric. So I used the blue tape to keep the edges from fraying. And here we got a little uh, test way see about how much the beam was going to end up being. And uh, so it's 48 grams, just the fabric, and then 59, including the honeycomb. It's probably going to end up being a little more when I add the resin. This here is the layup orientation. Give it a pause if you want to take a closer look. Just strapping on the respirator here. You know, I had it. It's nice. I like those ones. 3Ms are good. Whatever, dude. PPE. Gotta stay safe. Plus, you know, the smell's not super great, but either way. So now we're about to get started with the uh, epoxy pouring. I kind of cut this clip short. So I didn't really have any good measuring cups, so I just used bottle caps since I was making such a small layup. It really didn't require anything bigger, and this is an easy way to get by volume uh, equals. So we already put the hardener in there, got our stuff going, we're giving it a good mix because, you know, you can never get enough mixing with this thing. And here it's more mixing and mixing and mixing. More mixing. Switched hands. Switched hands again. Probably mix for at least like three to five minutes. Gets a little aerated, but not the worst thing in the world. So now we're about to start the, uh, the layup process. Grabbing the, the basal platen. Just quarter inch steel plate that I use uh, as one of my mold faces. Starting with the first layer of prepreg weave. It's like uh, peeling a sticker. Very nice. And you just, you know, it's a little bit wonky. The fibers weren't exactly straight enough, but, you know, they covered the one inch beam area on the inside, so I wasn't too worried about that. So that's the first layer. Then next we got uh, the unidirectional fabric, which I'm going to do the wet layup on since there's, it's not pre-preg. And I just give it a little pour here. It's a pretty thick epoxy resin. I really like it. And uh, the cup was getting a little warm, and so I remind, remembered I needed to spread it out, get the epoxy out of the cup, and so it didn't go off on me. That's always no fun. It's like a 60 minute epoxy at 77F, but you got to keep an eye on it no matter what, or it'll get a little runaway on you. So here we're just splooging it into the fabric, soaking the fibers, wetting them down with the epoxy. This is a really, really dense uh, unidirectional fabric. I guess it's probably at least, at least 12K toes Maybe more, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't really matter for what I'm doing. So here, since the fabric's so thick and the epoxy's also thick, I have to flip it over and press the epoxy all the way through to the other side of the fabric and make sure I get everything wetted completely. So we just go across the whole piece here and push the epoxy through to the other side. Yep, and then uh, we just repeat that for all three of these fabric pieces, and then uh, peel them up, and lay them up. Back to another prepreg. Kind of cut these quick, because there's not really much going on except me dicking around with them. And you got that, and then the next layer of unidirectional.
get it nice and square. Oh yeah. More prepreg. It's the last layer on the bottom. And here I just added a, a little bit more resin since this is going to have to bond to the honeycomb. I wanted to make sure I got a nice epoxy fillet in there. It's important with these beams, getting that bonding surface real nice. I'm just setting in the honeycomb there, aluminum honeycomb. Next layer of uh, prepreg on top of that. And then for the top, uh, I made it a little bit of a directional beam. So I just put an extra layer of fabric on the bottom and split them. So for the top, I just folded it over. So it's still basically two layers of unidirectional on both sides. And then the final prepreg layer on the top here. Then we take our aluminum bar, and this is what we're going to use to press the beam. It's like almost half inch thick, so it's still pretty rigid even for aluminum. Here it's the temperature. I got my hot plates at 200 Celsius. It's a thousand watt heating element, so it does a pretty good job. Gets it up to temp nice. You know, heat's really important with the epoxy. Then here we're just doing a quick mock-up what we're going to do with the clamps. So uh, definitely always use the clamps because the compression molding is uh, critical not only for the prepreg to work correctly, but it'll also assist in the honeycomb core bonding and also remove as much excess resin as possible and just generally make all of the, the items bond better when they're pushed together harder. So since I don't have an autoclave, we go with aluminum bars and Harbor Freight clamps. And I have to say, it seems like a pretty good method so far. Don't have any complaints about it, so we just pick it up. Checking out the, the sandwich panel in there. I already see some of the resin splooging out the side. So we preheated the hot plate here, and then I got a little box to help insulate it keep the heat in and I just use some of these aluminum extra aluminum to hold the lid on so we leave that in there for a couple hours hour and a half two hours let it cool off and then come back so that's this next clip Alrighty. there we go gentle sirs get ready for beauty to capture your hearts Hearts and minds, baby. Hearts and minds. Just exquisite. That was easy, right? Look at that. Just a hot damn. Strong as fuck. <laughs> 